Hey guys, so welcome back. So this is the tropical sampler that I got from uh, Vintage Chic Sense. And this comes with, so it's her big roses. So I'll kind of show you that right now. Um, which she first introduced these, I believe, when she brought out her blossom bags. Um, and these, like I'll give you an example of roughly how much one weighs. And I, cause I have my scale here, but one of these big roses um, this one weighs 2.7 ounces, so you're getting almost 3 ounces in one of these big roses. So you can definitely get at least 2 melts out of this, depending on how much wax you put in one of your warmers. I will most likely like cut this in half when I'm using it, when I use it, if not in thirds. Um, and so, and then in this sampler, you get, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of the roses and then as far as like weight total weight goes this is it's two pounds and six and a half ounces so you get quite a bit of wax here and it's a great way to try out different scents and i've missed so many of her restocks i haven't had a chance to try a lot of new scents and so that's kind of why i decided to just get all samplers so i thought well that's a great way for me to try lots of things and see what i really like and then know what I really, really really want to try for in some of her future openings. So I'll go ahead and jump right in. So this first one, I already talked about in my last video. This is South Pacific Shave Ice. And this is strawberry, raspberry, guava, pineapple, and creamy orange. And when I smell this in the scent shot, I get mostly the pineapple and the creamy orange. Let me smell this one and see if it's any different or not. Nope, that's pretty much what I get. I get the pineapple and then the creamy orange scent. And then this next one is Yellow Submarine. And these are just beautiful, beautiful roses. But the Yellow Submarine is pineapple and birthday cake. I'm going to try to open these a little ways away from the camera, so hopefully it's not picking up so much crinkling. But yeah, that's what it smells like, pineapple and birthday cake. You get both of those scents. And I actually really like the pineapple mixed with birthday cake. Um, it kind of helps cut the pineapple scent. This is California Dreamin'. And this is mango sorbet, which I love mango, mango sorbet scent. Uh, I have not tried Kirby's. Oh, that's delicious. Mm, nice, sweet mango scent. So that is really good. And love the colors on that. Let me see if I can, I'm gonna move this back a little and put it down so you can kind of see some of the, hopefully see some of the, some more of the wax. And this next one is Spoiled Step, I can't talk, sorry, it's kind of late. Spoiled Stepsisters, which I also have this in the Summer Berry Scent Shot Sampler. That's hard to say. And it's just an exclusive tropical fruity blend with Tiffany candles. And I think I mentioned um, that this, I pick up a lot of pineapple and then maybe like a melon scent in this. Um, but when I melt it, I'll know a little bit more. And then Gigi, which I've melted this one before. I actually have it, I think, in a blossom bag as well as some scent shots from older openings. But this is watermelon, honeydew, and cantaloupe. This is a great scent for people who really love um, melon scents. I love this one. I'm going to sniff it again. Oh, that's delicious. Definitely get like even, like I smell the watermelon and the cantaloupe I think the most. And then I think the honeydew is kind of the less predominant scent, but it is, it is really good. And this is Tiki Volcano Bowl. And this is an exclusive Vintage Chic Scents Tropical Fruit Salad. And a lot of these are older scents that she has. Oh, this one's really good. Yeah, it's just a bunch of mixed fruits, like tropical fruits. Very, very fruity and delicious. And this is La Dolce Vita. I don't know what happened to the label there. It's a little worn. Uh, but this is pomegranate, peach, and watermelon.
Mm, that is delicious. I definitely get the peach and the pomegranate. Oh, nice and sweet and fruity. I love the colors on this one too, the pink and the purple. It's just gorgeous. Oh, that is a very, very good scent. I think I have a three pack in that one. And this is Notorious. And this is Raspberry Guava Cotton Candy Frosting. Again, love the colors in this. This is pink and yellow. So Raspberry Guava Cotton Candy Frosting. Oh, I love cotton candy frosting. It just makes it so sweet. It's like fruity and sweet. It's delicious. Oh, I love this one. This is really, really, really good. I think it's one of my favorites. And this is No Woman, No Cry. And this is Camu Camu and Fresh Coconut. So I imagine this is going to have a little bit of like a fresh scent to it, which it does. I definitely get the fresh coconut. I'm not sure what the scent description is for Camu Camu, but it's kind of fruity and fresh. It's pretty good, but it's not like overly sweet. So here's that one. And then this is Dock of the Bay. And this is Watermelon, Pina Colada, and Honeydew. And I love the colors on this one too. It's really pretty. You can see that. Mm. That's really good. I think the watermelon kind of gives it um, like a little bit of a floral note because the Kirby's watermelon is has that like floral note in it. Um, but then it's sweetened up by the pina colada and the honeydew. This is really good. That is really, really good. I think I would like this even more too to have like cotton candy in it. But it's good the way it is. And then asphalt jungle which is strawberry agave lime margarita. And I think I hear people rave about this scent too. And I love the colors. It's kind of like a lavender and a gray scent. I don't know the scent. Sorry, lavender and gray color. See, you shouldn't film videos late at night because <laughs> I can't talk. Can you see the color on that? The bottom of it's gray. This is really good. I love strawberry and lime together because you get the sweetness from the strawberry and then that kind of tart bitterness from the lime. That is really delicious. I love that one. Three more to go. This is First Lady Kennedy. And this is tropical lemons, limes, and oranges on a bed of greens. And it says volcano type. I don't know if that's lush, do you? I'm not sure. Oh, that's really good. I definitely get the orange first. And then there's a little bit of tartness from like the lemon and limes. On a bed of greens, I don't smell any greens. It's not very green smelling to me. It's kind of like a nice, fresh, sweet orange is what it smells like mostly. And this is Walk on the Wild Side. And this is strawberry, daiquiri, mango, sorbet, and tangerines and cream. I think this is another one I've been wanting to try and just could not get my hands on. Oh, this is so good. It's sweet, fruity, and creamy. I love, like, fruity scents mixed with kind of, like, creaminess. That is so good because it's kind of relaxing. It's sweet and fruity and a little bit relaxing. Really, really good. And then the last one from the sampler is, and this one's pretty colors too, uh, Mrs. DiMaggio's Dream. And this is Wildberry Mousse, Strawberry Raspberry Guava, and Cotton Candy Frosting. Oops, sorry, it's kind of off screen there. This has really pretty colors, pink and purple. Very pretty. Oh, this is delicious. I'm getting more of the strawberry raspberry guava than anything. And then the cotton candy frosting. So the wild berry mousse, although it's in there, I think it adds a richness to it. It's not overpowering the other two scents, which is great. 
that's really really good mm. that is delicious so I'm in like sweet fruity tropical heaven here and I will be back in a few minutes with the last sampler thanks bye